Good work, Shepard. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. Hackett has the technically-minded students looking at the Crucible. Apparently, David Archer has already given them some ideas. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to... stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. Commander? It is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have amusing memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the elusive man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. Hello, Shepard. Commander. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Commander? Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Ma'am? That Jack is a mean SOB, but kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me?
Commander, I was exploring your ship. Find anything interesting? One of your crew lived in this space. There are traces of anger. That was Jack. Anger was her specialty. Traces of her pain are still present. I'm told she sought revenge against Cerberus when she was here. A goal you helped fulfill. I hope you will do the same for me. At least I have better quarters. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. Only the foolish mourn the loss of innocence. It is inevitable. The galaxy has never rewarded the naive. Commander. about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither. You should go see Adams, Commander. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Commander. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Shepard. Nothing to report. Breaking now. A city of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Commander. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Perhaps we can talk later. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Hmm. Life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see Jack one more time. It's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic to mildly insane. You have to admit, though, she did see through Cerberus back in the day. I might have even listened, but her tattoos gave me a headache every time she walked into the room. Looks like we beat Cerberus again. Do you think the elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this, or just lines them up against the wall and gets it over with? 
I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for Turians when I was growing up. Always wanted to learn how to paint. Now I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. Not right now. Certainly possible. Would require strengthening exercises. Get muscles to support weaker bone structure. Right. Yeah, I can do that. Alloy of Edie's body not flexible like organic tissue could cause unintentional damage. Recommend pillows, cushions, possibly gel packs. Okay, that's a little weirder, but yeah, all right, cushions. Positioning critical to success. Can forward Edie charts, videos with relevant data. No, 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 let's, let's, uh, uh, Edie's pretty busy with, you know, stuff. Let's, let's, let's send, uh, just send that to me. Uh, you're not gonna tell anyone about this, right? Like, like, Shepard? Shepard doesn't really need to know. Ah, guarantee Shepard won't learn about it from me. She's, she's standing right there, isn't she? I wish I wasn't. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So... I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? Put down the truth. Good? Bad? Don't leave anything out. Let history be the judge. I'll give them the facts. Let me just delete all these breathless passages on your heroics. You writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. Commander?